What are we doing now? Burning this stuff? Making a mess. Sorry, keep making a mess. What are these? There's more burns. How many burns do you want? A lot. Enough to make them all really. Uh, I'm gonna take at least three or four of them. You don't have any square ones like uh, the ones that came out of Andrew's bike? Out of the Indian? No. Yeah. Push it up. Square <laughs> Indian bike. <laughs> he kept those. Me and I would like to keep a couple of them myself. Just to... thought you did. I know you did too, but. No, but... me and you. I don't care about square bearing. Well, I've seen those before. I don't need any more. Okay, what size are these again? What did you say, like 17 or something? Close enough. 18. Go back to video. <laughs> 16. These are the correct ones. That's what they're. Maybe. We'll find out. How many does it take? Just screw in a light bulb. That too. That's a good question. How many does it take? Yeah, you count me? The video is. I don't want to drop one too. It's down in the hole right there. I don't want to forget that. Because we don't need it. It's not coming out of the hole unless I flip the thing over. I ain't doing that. Fred knows how many it takes. He's done a couple of these cranks. It's been a while. How many does it take, Fred? 18. 18 what? 18 bearings on each side, 36 roller bearings. There's three sides though. Well, <sighs> 18 of the small ones, 36 of the small ones, 18 of the big ones. I'm probably wrong, I don't know. You are wrong. <laughs> See? If you had a Harley, it would be 18, but you wanted a Harley, that's sports. <laughs> <laughs> Trick question. Uh -oh. <laughs> uh. Well, 36, 47. So now there's only 17 per row instead of 18. Unless you're talking about a shovel head, and a shovel head only has, eight, has 17 also. So I was sort of right, but not quite right. You were close. Close to no cigar. Well, you already had your cigar today. Yeah. <laughs> so if you count out 17 of these, we'd have enough then, right? Keep putting them in until you run out of spaces. That's pretty much how I do it. <laughs> Sometimes it comes out accurate too. I used to work at this boat landing. And people would come up and they go, I want a dozen bobber weights, right? And this old man could reach in and drop them on the counter and there'd be a dozen. Every time. Never knew why there'd be a dozen. They probably didn't go through a dozen. I got pretty good at it too. I can get within one or two. And the moral of this story? Re <laughs> reputation makes life easier or something? I don't know. I thought he lived illegally and was dying from lead disease. <laughs> well, it was lead bombers back then. Doesn't matter. Lead, I mean, lead weights. <laughs> Not lead bombers. Okay, there's no empty holes. Make sure you get them the right way. Right? This is the right way. And there's the missing one. Hey, only got one spare. Only one? Oh, right there. Two. Loose one's tight. Why? Put the same bearings in like. <clears throat> I wouldn't put the same bearings both sides, would I? <laughs> don't put them in the hole. We'll let them figure that one out. No, don't put Loctite on the bearings. The bearings are supposed to roll. They want to be locked. So you don't want to put the. Uh, Two thirds of the way the tape with Loctite, otherwise you can get inside the bearings and that would be a problem. 
So did you get that? Oh yeah. He's <laughs> <It's> just mumbling. <laughs> <laughs> we'll have closed captioning on this video. Yeah, right. So he's gonna leave that comment again. Can't hear you speak <laughs> up. That's on every video. That's like every video. <laughs> We make these push videos. Flat, push it flat against the table, keep it semi square. And you check it. See how far off it is. You fall asleep, I can get over there. Oh, I can see just fine. It's called Zoom. See how far off it is? I'm off by that much. A little better, huh? Now we go torque the snot out of it. Alright. You should also make sure the rods in the flow is correct before you torque them. You mean they could be put in backwards? Oh, yeah. <laughs> I've never done that. <laughs> Torque. Take some stress off the wheels, keeping even torque. What number we use on the other? 250. 250. Well, it hit 250. Oh, what do we leave on the other side though? 275, 280. Oh, about that much. About that much. Go grab me the oil. Oil? Yeah, some of the oil. Need some lubricant. Okay, make sure the rods go back and forth. Here. Is this regular one? See if they don't slide back and forth, something's wrong. I just need a dab of oil on my finger. Huh? Oh, oil. Red. Oh. It's over. That one. <laughs> okay, now we're coming over here. Give my exercise. Just kind of wheel around. Get <laughs> over, over there on that side. I need some lubricant. Well, you've seen this before. Not him, the video. Oh, uh, the video? I don't know. Some it's people have watched other videos and seen it already. This might. Yeah, better. I finally got some blood out. There you go, friend. Time enough? Lubricate your tapers. It makes them work better. Not like anybody has that in their shop, right? They don't. Maybe they got a leg they can beat on. Some people don't care about this. Have to tighten up the right side thing there too. Now you want to put as close as you can to the flywheel to get the most accuracy. But you gotta make sure you clear the nut. If the nut hits it, it doesn't work very well. Okay, how close is that, Fred? Uh, I think you're gonna have to beat on it a little bit. I'm gonna have to massage it. Massage it. Massage it. Okay. It's fact respect. Well, I eat that. That's on twin cam. That's right. You're just squeaking? Yeah. Okay. How many lines we got? Looks like at least two. That's four thou. Okay. So it's high right there. That's a crappy spot to be high. Huh? That's high over there. So what's that mean? Hit that side? It means too oh, wide. Too wide. It was high, not low. Let's see if I get a little, little smooth. Wow, that's, that was good. All right, good to go. Damn. Not quite. It's close. Close enough for you, but not me. Right. Okay, where's it high at now? It's high over here now. High over here. What's that mean? Yes. The 180 part. What's that mean? 90 degrees from crank. Then these no answers. Nobody knows anything. I'm not supposed to be talking in the camera. Oh, uh, it's cold. <laughs> it's twisted. 
So you hold the bottom flywheel over here and you hit this side and then you twist it. And you drop this in your toe. Now I'm going to hear all about the video. We'll screw up all the tapers and everything. They're tough shit. Buy new ones. I've been beating on them for 20 years. Okay. How come it got worse? <coughs> okay, now we're high right there. See it moves slightly. Where's this one high at? That one's high right here. This one's high about there. Just passed. A little bit further past. So this one's still higher. So we do the same thing on the other half now. Because we also want this shaft to move. We already moved this other side. Halfway. Just past halfway. This side's still a little bit worse. So I'm still working on getting the twist out. Now, if this was a good fly, we'll have to beat on really hard, but this is just stock parts, so you can't beat on too hard. Hard enough because it didn't move. You know what that means? You gotta hit it harder. Bigger hammer? You hit it harder. No. Bigger. Just to play that back and see if I hit it harder or not. Did I hit it harder? Sure. Okay, good. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> well, we moved it too much. <laughs> it moved. See, now it's less than the other side. Okay, see, that's high. In the center. That was high in the center. So now we get to do this. Wow. Pretty close. It's going all center again. So it wants to be squeezed over here now. How much did that move in? Mm -hmm. Something happened, it broke. The needle's broke, they quit moving. Check the needle out. You can see it's not moving now. They're moving. Well. Wow. Right there is the high spot. This one's high over here. Can you twist it again? No, it's 180 apart. It's a stroke change or taper screw ups now. This one's high right about in here, which is toward the bottom. Yeah. And this one is high right there, which is toward the top. So you have to twist the crank then, which is really hard to do. Mm -hmm. Or you got to bend this shaft one way and that shaft the other way, which is hard to do. Yeah. Pretty much when you get to that point, you're pretty much done. So let's see if there's anything to do to make it worse. I can always make it worse. Okay, high there. High over here. That corner. We're high, high. So that means this one's still a little bit higher on this side. Which is slightly more than we had before, so we over twisted it before.
off out of here. See, Fred, I'm greedy. Still beating on it? I'm greedy. Did you send throw everything out of work? Man? Not yet. I got them both back to the same spot again. <laughs> Look how much it's moving now. Remember, I could always make it worse. Can you look at that? <laughs> you could have about 10 minutes. 10 minutes of beating ago. Yeah, but I took 50% of the air out on this side. Yeah. And I took it up on maybe 30 or 40% more on that side. Alright, we can live with 1,000 or less. Okay.